Hi, uh, Sabrina, 26 points, 11 assists tonight. Factoring in the playoffs and regular season, you now have the most games in W history of at least 25 points and 10 assists. How does it feel to continue to cement yourself as one of the top scorers, but also one of the top distributors in the league? Yeah, I mean, um, I mean, I, I didn't really know that fact, but, um, you know, I guess just continue to play my game, understanding, um, obviously, the threat that I have with the ball in my hands as, as a scorer um, from all three levels, but understanding that the passing is part of my game that um, is kind of unguardable in terms of just continuing to be able to get everyone involved and, and let everyone do what they do best. And obviously it's great having um, some of the best teammates in the world on my team um, to be able to just get them in their spots and let them do what they're great at. Thank you. And one question for uh, Marquisha. Marquisha, tonight, career high, nine points, including your first career three. How did it feel to just be able to go out there and have a performance like tonight? Um, it felt great. Um, I've been trying to stay ready and just each time I get in, just embrace the opportunity. And that's what I did. Great. Thank you. Jackie? Uh, hi, all. Congrats on the win. Um, I guess just for Sandy, and this is not necessarily about the game itself, but just having Courtney there on the bench with you guys, you know, how did that feel? And, and obviously just following up, you know, what was it like to sort of embrace her for the first time? Yeah, obviously we, uh, we did that, um, you know, when did she come back? Yes, two sir. days ago, yesterday when we, when we saw her. So it, it's great to have it back with the team and she means so much for us. She's been through so much, um, but yeah, it's good for her to come out on the bench tonight, um, you know, and be a part of that. Cause uh, she, even though she hasn't been playing, um, you know, we've been doing our best to, to represent her well and but we look forward to having her back soon. Thank you. Gabe? Well, congrats on the win. Marquisha, we've talked with other players on the bench about things that they've done to keep themselves prepared and having everything in order for them when their number gets called. What does that preparation look like for you, and who are some players that you've really worked with to help you along this process? Um, I would say just getting in with coaches and working uh, on my game outside of practice and things like that. Yeah, so that's the thing that I've got to, you know, stay prepared and ready. Miles? Hi, all. Congratulations on the win. Sandy, I wanted to ask you about the production that you got. Because you had only eight players, second half of back-to-back, -back, and everyone who got in the game had at least six points, and that was coming off a game yesterday afternoon where all of the points came from the starting five. How were you able to challenge that second unit today, and how did they respond? Look, um, you know, I, you know, sometimes that's going to happen. We have a great, you know, group, but we've got some role players that are in the starting five because we have got the two key players out. Uh, but look, it's, a, it's always about what Q said. It's always about staying ready and letting the game come to you, but knowing what you do best to help this team. Um, but you know, you know, Kennedy, you know, I think just having confidence and not overthinking things there and. Uh, just executing the scout where they can where they can help. I mean, that's what we try and communicate to them as much as we can. We show them film, and um, they're professionals. They're staying ready, and and it was great for us to to give them you know the minutes, um, so we didn't have to play anyone, to, you know, thirty eight minutes like we had to do the other night. We'll go to Brian. Hi everybody, um, for Sandy, in the second quarter, you guys had, I would say, your best second quarter of the season. What do you think the group really did right in that quarter, and how do you think you can sort of take this and apply it to other games going forward? Yeah, look, I, um, I, you know, I think we just, you see the chemistry continuing to grow. I think, like we talked about Sabrina's and, and JJ's chemistry here, but um, the ability to move the ball and how we space the floor. And, um, but it starts, you know, our defense can create our offense in those situations as well. And like Sabrina alluded to it, we've got some great players that know how to put the ball in the hole. So that certainly helps. And, you know, I mean, she was on fire in that first half, particularly that second half. So. You know, it's fun to watch when they're just, you know, playing selfless basketball. Thanks, guys. Safe travels. We'll go to Jeff and finish with Russell. Thank you. Good afternoon, all. Congrats on the win. Coach, my question will be for you. In the fourth quarter, 
it was a large lead, but things got a little scary on your guys' end for a little bit until Leo hit one from deep. She had a good defensive possession, came back and hit another. So what can you say about the trust that Leo has built with you in terms of closing out the fourth quarter and how key were those closing abilities in a game like this? Yeah. Where, again, you said you didn't have to play anyone 38 minutes, say, yeah. so she allowed you to keep that lead. Yeah, no, we, I mean, we needed that. I mean, it's... We got up uh, such a big lead, but I thought we started in that third quarter well, and you know I suppose uh, they're going to make a run, you know that. So um, that's the game, isn't it? We're not going to win by 50, and and just a little bit of momentum shift, and we just had to settle down. We're getting, you know, shooting too quickly. They'll get more aggressive. We weren't making the right decisions. Uh, but you know, Leo, if you watch her overseas, she always has pretty good fourth quarters. So we're just trying to run the ball and get some, you know, wide open looks and take what defense gave uh, it was giving us at that, that time. And you know, Leo was making shots. She was a post up. It was a drive. It was a three, and they were all big for us. Appreciate your time and insight. Congrats on the win. Safe travels home. Thanks. Russell. Hi everyone, uh, congrats on the win. Sandy, uh, just wondering, over these last few games when you've been down to eight players, um, you know, you've seen everybody kind of step up at different times. Just wondering if maybe your confidence level has changed at all in your second unit, and as players start coming back, uh, has it maybe changed how you'll use your bench going forward when you're at full strength? Uh, good question. Um, yeah, no, we trust our bench, you know what I mean? But, but our goal is always to win the game and, and make sure we have good rotations out there and we're still building that chemistry together. But I think this, you know, it, through adversity, you just see, I think we went to another level, like someone, okay, someone else is out now, so it's the next person. Um, yeah, we don't have a problem. I can go to all the bench, I know that. Sometimes, some games are, you know, you have to shorten the rotation with what we need. Um, you know, when players come back, we'll deal with that when when we get there. So it's I think we just continue to build on the momentum that we've gained and uh, making sure we don't take steps backwards. We'll take one more. Great, from thank Jackie. you, Jackie. Yeah, sorry about this, but but Sabrina, I'm just curious. You know, when you were watching Marquisha in her 13 minutes this afternoon, how do you feel like she impacted this team and sort of gave it another dimension? Yeah, I mean, I think just. The ability to not have a drop off when the bench comes in and that's huge um, from a scoring aspect but just being able to attack um, and just continue to provide a lift off the bench obviously um, when you come in you want to do what you can to maintain the lead that's there um, but just kind of plug plug the holes in what's needed and i think she saw a great opportunity from watching um, to start the game that driving lanes were open and she was going to be able to attack and transition and she did just that, and that's what we know she's capable of doing. I mean, that's what she's done all of training camp, and I think she knows we support her and want her to go out there and, and be who she is. And I think through these games, she's just continued to show that um, she's a lot more vetted than um, you know we've been able to give her credit for because she is a rookie, but I think she's come out and gave us really good minutes. That's going to just help us forward in these next couple games coming up. Thank you, and safe flight home. Thanks, everyone.